Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're checking out the RIP Superchargers high performance coil pack set designed for the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engines found in the 2012 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JKs. This coil pack set offers increased performance as well as a number of other benefits for both naturally aspirated as well as supercharged applications. Now, if you guys are wondering just exactly what does a coil pack do, well, basically, these are controlled by the engine's computer. They're designed to store up energy and then release it to the spark plugs, creating that spark, which is going to ignite the air fuel mixture in your engine. Now, while those original coil packs that came in your motor from the factory do an okay job, these offer an increase of 10% more output to the spark plug, which is going to translate to a stronger spark, meaning you're going to get a more efficient combustion cycle. Now, you guys with naturally aspirated engines, well, that's going to translate to better throttle response, but it's also going to give you an increase in your fuel efficiency. And I know just about everyone out there is looking for a little better fuel efficiency in their Wrangler. Now, for you guys with supercharged boosted motors, well, that increase in power is going to translate to a stronger spark, giving you a better combustion to give you the most output from your motor, especially under those boosted conditions. Now, as you can see, you're going to get a great looking signature Mopar orange exterior here. It's a high temperature resistant exterior coating on here. You're also going to get great internal components that all translate to giving you a premium coil pack for your Wrangler. As you can see, you do get a set of six. They come neatly packed in here, so you can ensure they're going to arrive to you safely and ready to be installed in your Jeep. They do come with all the installation instructions. And in fact, the install is pretty easy, only takes a few tools, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. Now, you're only going to need a few hand tools to complete the installation of your new coil packs. We're going to need a quarter inch ratchet, we're going to need an eight millimeter socket, and that's going to be used to remove some bolts on the top of our intake manifold. We're going to need a 10 millimeter socket that's going to be used to remove two nuts on the side of our intake manifold. It's also going to be used to remove and install the coil packs. We're going to need an extension that's going to help us reach some of those coil pack bolts. A panel tool is going to be used to pry off some of the clips holding some electrical harnesses in place. And then you're going to need either a nut driver or a flathead screwdriver, and that's just going to be used to loosen some hose clamps. You're also going to need a roll of masking or painter's tape, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Now, the first thing we need to do before we start our install here is to go ahead and disconnect our battery. Because we're going to be working with our coil packs that store a lot of energy, we definitely want to make sure that there's no voltage going to them. So you can grab your 10 millimeter socket, Loosen that nut on top of the battery cable there. Pull our negative terminal off. And I like to go ahead and grab some masking tape. Either tape off the battery terminal or your cable here just to make sure they don't accidentally make contact while we're working. Now next we can go ahead and lift our engine cover out of the way. So now that we've got our engine cover out of the way, there's a couple things that we need to disconnect and remove under the hood. And we're going to start right here underneath of this engine harness. There's two 10 millimeter screws that we're going to remove. And to do this install, as you can see, we've got easy access to the passenger side coil packs here. However, the coil packs on the driver's side, they're actually underneath of our intake manifold. So we're going to need to remove that and the throttle body as one assembly to get access to those. Now, while that may sound like it's slightly intimidating, I promise you it's a very easy job that you can take care of. In fact, it's only going to require your 8 millimeter socket. We're going to be taking a couple bolts out of the top of the intake manifold here, disconnecting a couple wire harnesses and hoses, and then we can lift the whole thing out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 8 millimeter socket so we can get started. All right, now if you haven't already, you can go ahead and remove your breather line and some of these hoses from the clips along the side of the intake manifold. We can also disconnect, and use your panel tool, to make it a little bit easier. The hoses connected to the intake manifold. We can unsnap the connector on our map sensor. Remove that. Using that panel tool, we can go ahead and pop this little Christmas tree clip holding the wire harness. Now, 
And then using our nut driver or a flathead screwdriver, we can go ahead and loosen this hose clamp on our air intake and slide that off the throttle body. Now down below our throttle body, there's one more electrical connector on the throttle body. There's a little red tab on there. So we can go ahead and unlock that first. Press the tab and remove the connector. Now once we have the air intake removed, we need to go ahead and remove four 10 millimeter nuts. Now there's two on the back along the side of our intake manifold and there's two right up here on the side of the throttle body. Now that we've got the four nuts removed from all the studs on the side of our intake manifold here, we can go ahead and lift the whole assembly out. You just want to make sure you've got all your bolts up out of the way. And then the bracket that we removed the two bolts on earlier with the wiring harness, you just kind of have to lift that up a little bit as you shift the whole intake manifold to the left to make sure those studs are clear of the bracket. Then we can go ahead and lift it out of the way. Now that we have our intake manifold out of the way, it's a good idea to go ahead and grab some masking tape and you want to cover up those intake ports to make sure nothing falls in there while we're working. We can go ahead and lift this piece of foam out of the way and we're just going to set it aside. And now we have access to our three coils on the driver's side here. I like to do them one at a time by first disconnecting the electrical connector. Grab that 10 millimeter socket. And then go ahead and pull the coil out of the way. Now once we've got our old coil out of the way, this is a great time to either check and inspect your spark plugs or replace them if necessary. This Jeep happens to be very low miles, so I know our spark plugs are still good. We can go ahead and grab one of our new RIP coil packs and drop it back in place. We can reconnect the electrical connector. That click will let us know it's a good connection and we can go ahead and do the remaining two on the driver's side and then move over to the three on the passenger side. On the passenger side, go ahead and remove two 10 millimeter nuts holding your heater core lines to give you access to the electrical connectors on each of the coil packs. So you can see the install is pretty simple once we get that intake manifold out of the way. Really, it's just the job of removing and replacing the coil packs one by one. Of course, to finish up our install, we're just gonna go ahead and reverse the removal procedure, reinstalling our intake manifold. You definitely wanna make sure that all of your seals around the intake ports are still in place when we pull that tape out of the way. And don't forget to reconnect all of your electrical connections and hoses that we disconnected earlier. If you guys want to get more information or purchase a set of the RIP Superchargers High Performance Coil Packs for your 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 found in a 2012 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK, you can click on that info button head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the coil packs or the install, you can leave those for us below or contact us at any of the options on the screen. And you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all of our latest product reviews and install videos. Until next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Right now I'm gonna get this thing back together so we can go hit the road.